Hello guys, welcome to the, our channel Biogene to, into our new lecture series on Cytogenetics Series 1. The learning objectives in this Series 1 by the end of this series one lecture you will be able to answer what is cytogenetics and uh, you can able to define what is cytogenetics you will be able to describe the scenarios what all occurred in, within the cytogenetics the various binding patterns and up till today the modernization of those banding techniques you will be able to answer the different fields of cytogenetics application so what is cytogenetics before getting into what is cytogenetics let us assume this map this map is showing the vegetation distribution within the globe. However, one thing if you can see, it is not showing the different states, the river distributions, the railway distribution and so on so forth. Similarly, in our cases also, like the chromosomes, we can also stain our chromosomes via several bending techniques by which we can identify the different sections within the chromosome. However, using the different bending techniques, the same chromosome can be stained and can be studied in a several way. So, our understanding to chromosomes comes after staining with certain stains and mapping those loci where a locus plural loci is the fixed position on a chromosome like the position of a gene or a genetic marker a genetic marker can be very very useful when it comes in disease diagnosis as well as uh, cancer prognosis so if we look in this picture of a Y chromosome, this is a complete map for a Y chromosome and this has been used by several banding techniques. Here what we can see, this reason, this is a single locus. This is mainly determined for the sex determination within this Y chromosome. Similarly, it has been distributed into several other sections and other regions that is regulated by this Y chromosome. To understand the function of specific identified locus of an allele within the chromosome, we use techniques of alternative allelic form or mutated form of such loci. Now suppose if we have taken a gene in this drosophila and we just wanted to know that this uh, gene regulates this uh, specific character of eye color. Now once you take this alternative allelic form of that eye color gene or the mutated eye color gene, we can easily trace out the phenotypic difference that this eye color changes into this blue color eye color gene. So we can easily figure out that that particular locus of a gene within the chromosome regulates this eye color of a drosophila. This led to the development of cytogenetics that links chromosome variation to specific traits and of course this can also be used and included in this illness part so how can we define the cytogenetics cytogenetics involve the two words one being the cytology of course the study of cells and the another being the genetics so cytogenetics can be defined as the study of the cells from the perspective of genetics. Of course, we want to know the phenotypic changes that occurs during the mitosis or the meiosis and the behavior of those cells. It also involves the study of the chromosomes as well as we also study the factors that are bringing these chromosomal changes. So, these cytological analysis of chromosomes 
are done under light electron microscope so this cytogenetics is one of the sub region of a classical genetics so we all know genetics is divided into classical genetics the molecular genetics so this cytogenetics comes under classical genetics a brief scenario what all occurred till now in the field of cytogenetics based on the staining of the chromosomes the history of cytogenetics can be divided into three periods of time the first being the pre banding era second being the pure banding era third being the molecular cytogenetic era the pre banding era marked with the finding of q banding by dr lord zech during 1879 till 1970 uh, after the finding of q banding marked the pure banding era with the development of c banding as well as the silver staining technique of nucleolus organizing region or nor region in 1976 followed to this up which is still followed now is the molecular cytogenetic era which involves the g banding most widely accepted technique as well as the fish fluorescence in situ hybridization technique and of course emphis which is practiced since 1989 So what are the fields of cytogenetic application Cytogenetic is a central to the assignment and the localization of genes to chromosome and thus help in the construction of the genetic map Based upon this we have divided our use of cytogenetics in three broad regions the first being the clinical cytogenetics second being the comparative cytogenetics third being the cancer cytogenetics the diagnosis and management of a constitutional chromosomal aberration and in diagnosis underlies the clinical cytogenetics for example patau syndrome down syndrome klein filter syndrome the second comparative cytogenetics involves the studies of chromosomal homologies between species and contribution of phylogenetic relationship example chromosomal homologies between chimpanzees and human chromosomal homologies between rats and mouse and so on so forth the cancer cytogenetic part involved mainly with the classification and identification of oncogene and tumor suppressor gene example p53 braca etc so let's get into a quick review what all we did till now we got to know what is cytogenetics of course it's the study of cells in relation to genetics we also get to know the brief scenario what all occurred in this field of cytogenetics from the past which is going on and what all the future aspects this includes the invention of various banding techniques we also get to know the different fields of cytogenetic application three broad regions based upon the genetic map here a mini questionnaire hopefully you can able to answer and do post your answer in the comment section below the first question being cytogenetics is a study of structure function behavior and pathology of chromosome yes or no the second question being the evidence that demonstrate that a model or idea versus a control group is feasible in cytogenetics is called a dash option a interpretation of chromosome option b proof of concept mark your answer in the comment section below and i will try my level best to answer it as soon as possible so meet mr puzzle he wanted to know how the banding pattern differ from each other how can we arrange chromosome based on the bands i hope you will also try to help mr puzzle how all these are solved of course we will be looking all these different sections in our next lecture series of 2 if you like the video give a like below and do share 
and of course do subscribe this channel thank you